bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Our topic today is the Oakland County Friend of the Court Citizens Advisory Committee. Joining us now to talk about it is the Director of the Oakland County Friend of the Court, Suzanne Hollier. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. What exactly is this Citizens Advisory Committee? When was it formed and what does it do? It was created about 10 years ago by statute and the idea of the Citizen Advisory Committee is there to uh, seek the input of the community community and the operation of the front of the court and advise my boss the chief judge and my funding unit the county board of commissioner about the performance of the front of the court office how many folks sit on this board how did they get chosen who are they they're selected by the county board of commission and they're selected based on their position in the community so they might represent custodial parents or non-custodial parents family law lawyers um, family therapists and then their purpose, are, are they supposed to help the judge make better decisions or what would be the ultimate goal? It's really just to advise the judge on the operation of the front of the court. So they might say, uh, based on our input, our, our conversations with the community, we think the front of the court should devote more resources to enforcing child support or something like that. And this is a fairly unique committee, correct? Not all front of the courts have this type of a committee. Well, in the statute, it's authorized that any county can set one up, but only four counties have set up a citizen advisory committee, including Oakland County. And most of the others in Metro Detroit or throughout the state of Michigan? Throughout the state of Michigan, Kent County, Livingston County, and Oceana County are the only others that filed a report that said they existed last year. Would the hope be uh, someday that other uh, counties, other communities would have these citizen advisory committees as well? Well, there was a bill introduced recently, uh, and it was advocated for by the Friend of the Court Association that would make those committees appointed by the chief judge rather than by the county board of commission. And that's because, you know, the Friends of the Court, we report to the chief judge. So the hope is that if this bill passes, Senate Bill 1423, that it would uh, create, have, create an incentive for more counties to set up a citizen advisory committee. And obviously it must be, it's been around for 10 years, this must be a committee that uh, is very beneficial, giving good information, good advice, uh, appreciated. Volunteer committee? It is a volunteer committee. They pay for everything themselves, their mailing, their, their time is all volunteer time. Yes, and it's very much appreciated. The front of the court office in Oakland County, we work very closely with them. And we always hear uh, front of the court offices being so uh, overwhelmed, lots of casework, oftentimes not enough workers. So anytime I would imagine you have a committee, a, a group of people willing to, to devote their time on their own time, uh, it's, it's really invaluable. That's true, and I think um, one of the, the most valuable aspects of the committee is they provide parties a neutral forum where they can go and just talk about their case and get advice independent of the office, and that, that's proven to be very valuable in Oakland County. Well, on another note, not having to do with the uh, Citizens Advisory Committee, but certainly with the Oakland County Friend of the Court, what's new, any changes in the pipeline, things that perhaps folks using the system should know about? Yes, uh, just this past week a notice went out statewide that a new fee is being imposed. This is a federal fee of $25. It's going to be paid out of child support and it's only on those cases where we collect more than $500 a year and when, when the support recipient has never received public assistance. So it's a limited number of cases but it's still a new fee and it's an unprecedented fee and it's certainly not something we wanted. We don't even keep the money at the county level. The, the, most of it goes back to the federal government government, which is who created this new fee at the federal level. And this is a, a, a once a year fee that anyone who receives over $500 a year in child support will be required to pay? That's right. And this year that will happen in September because it's fiscal year. Next year it will happen in October. So many people will pay the fee two months in a row this first time. <laughs> so I expect we'll receive a lot of calls and complaints about that. And the money, uh, the intent behind this is that it's going to help offset some of the costs of, of all of the, the, the work that the Friends of the Court do? I'm sure that's what was behind um, the congressional bill that created this fee, yes, because we are federally funded. So, But we don't, again, keep the money. The money will be re refunded mostly to the federal government. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Suzanne Hollier, the director of the Oakland County Friend of the Court.